Hi, wir sind von Voxerians. We are Tuletar and we are very happy to be here. Hi, I'm Gomez from Sync and this is Maria also from Sync. We are uh, so happy to be here and we will be performing tonight. Uh, it's Wednesday at the A Cappella International A Cappella Woche Hannover or something like that. I tried my best. <laughs> <laughs> Es hat angefangen, weil wir einfach Riesenfans von amerikanischer A Cappella Musik sind. Genau. Jeder kennt vielleicht diese Pitch Perfect Filme. Ich glaube von 2012 ist der erste. Alle kennen und lieben diese Musik. Und in Deutschland gibt es eine riesen Chorszene. Wir beide kommen auch selber, haben jahrelang im Chor gesungen. Aber was die A Cappella Musik angeht, klafft da einfach eine riesengroße Lücke. Und dann hat sich tatsächlich herausgestellt, dass wir über die letzten paar Jahre beide schon in diversen Projekten irgendwie äh, involviert waren, die aber nie wirklich was geworden sind. Und dann haben wir gedacht, so, jetzt legen wir es drauf an, dann muss man es halt komplett selber machen. Und wir haben uns die Leute zusammengesucht aus alten Chorbekanntschaften, aus irgendwelchen Menschen, die wir dann neu dazu kennengelernt haben. Und so ist das Ganze entstanden. Genau. Es ist richtig krass. Ich glaube auch, es ist, es ist für mich noch so ein bisschen surreal. Ich glaube es, wenn wir auf der Bühne stehen nachher mit Publikum. Ähm, weil ich auch das A Cappella Festival hier schon als Besucher, als passives Mitglied im Zuschauerraum immer schon seit vielen Jahren immer begleite. Und jetzt auf einmal da auf der Bühne stehen zu können, ist, das ist ein Wahnsinn. Ja, das kann ich nur bestätigen. Ich selber glaube, ich war schon 15 Mal oder 16 Mal auf der A Cappella Woche. Also da war ich noch in der Grundschule, wenn ich mich richtig erinnere oder gerade raus, als ich das erste Mal auf der A Cappella Woche war. Und seitdem bin ich steter Wiederholungstäter gewesen und immer sehr, sehr gerne auch zu irgendwelchen Workshops oder dem Rahmenprogramm der A Cappella Woche hingegangen. Kann ich also sehr empfehlen. Um, und jetzt ist es absolut overwhelming, dass man mal auf der anderen Seite steht. Und ein Wort vielleicht noch zu dem, wir waren ja schon vorher in der Chorszene. Ich habe das Gefühl, A Cappella ist schon noch mal eine ganz andere Sache. Also wir sind, wir kommen alle aus dem Chor, aber es fühlt sich total anders an, wenn man in so einer Gruppe unterwegs ist und keiner kann sich verstecken, keiner darf sich verstecken. Es kommt auf jeden Einzelnen an. Genau, wir singen eben, jede, jede Person singt ihre eigene Stimme, da singen ganz selten mal zwei, war das gleiche, aber man muss eben schon sehr selbstständig sein, das ist sehr anders als im Chor. Absolut, ja. Und das, der, der Stil der Arrangements ist auch dann ganz anders, weil es eben wirklich darauf ausgelegt ist, mit Mikrofonen gesungen zu werden und nicht eben in irgendeiner Kirche schön zu klingen, wobei das natürlich auch schön ist, aber nicht das, was wir wollen. We sing, we are based in Aarhus in Denmark. And we are eight friends singing together. That's the way every day goes. Every time we go control. If the sky is big and wide. If the ground is bright and yellow. It's the same way you show me. Now my head don't close my eyes. We're quite a new vocal group. I've only been singing together for a couple of years. And um, so Sophie from the group. And I were together, we were hanging out, and she was like, how awesome would it be if we just handpicked some of our best friends and made this vocal group? And so we did that, and um, then we sang together very quickly after, and I think after we have been at that rehearsal, we were just feeling something, something special, a connection and a tone of voice. Um, Yeah, and we've, we've been singing together ever since. Quite funny about the first rehearsal was that we agreed that we would sing two different songs and we all showed up to the rehearsal and said, yeah, um, I, didn't, I didn't practice from home. <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't either. So uh, what do we do? Maybe we just play the recording and then we sing along. And we did that three times and then we're like, should we, should we try without the recording? And then it was just, it was just wonderful. Um, made of the Spotify list, right? 
and then we just all of us can put put songs that we find interesting and can hear that sync sound in um, and then it's really up for I think all of us have made arrangements so it's just if you know yeah. except for me I'm oh. the only one who hasn't arranged anything yet you you've arranged something right mm-hmm. yeah I don't even know like but yeah, I mean it's more like we have a general idea of what kind of music we want to do and very specifically the way we want to sound so someone will come up with a suggestion which could be an electronic rock thing and then we'll somehow make it into our song even though you might say that most of our music is is probably in the R&B genre but I mean it it becomes quite wide and I think as if someone has the passion to do a specific arrangement then everybody's pretty open to doing it which is very cool we are so much looking forward to be here with all the acapella people because this is so special time for us because this gig is uh, one of our last before our one year break so it feels like you know circle is closing with acapella people So the main reason is that we've been doing this non-stop for 10 years and we've been basically given most of our <laughs> uh, life to Tuulatar and at least professional life. And uh, right now it feels good to just kind of let go a little bit of the past and breathe in some fresh air and just really take a proper break because also creativity needs time and air and we also need some rest <laughs> yes we already have a brand new album uh, recorded and it's been mixed right now and um, We will release it in 2024, so we're really looking forward to people hearing it. It's going to be amazing. Well, it's going to be epic, but we wanted to maintain the organic sound also. And we wanted to work with Liquid Fifth Productions, who did uh, uh, the first album, because we really love their, their way of uh, working with the sound. It's very something unique that one cannot find anywhere else, or we haven't found at least. Yeah, so Liquid Fifth is an American a cappella production company. And uh, we recorded the album last autumn in a way that Chris Yingle, who, re- who was the recording engineer, he actually flew to Finland. So we spent a week together in this beautiful studio in the middle of a forest, and we recorded the whole album. and. Oh, it was just magical. I feel that also it's it's really great that the the themes of the songs they are really like about this whole world around us. So um, in comparison, our recent album Rayatila Borderline, which was very much about uh, the inner process and you know what's happening inside your head, uh, this album is somehow also. Um, it, it really brings these 10 years of touring abroad and you know meeting people and different cultures so you can hear also a lot of that in the album. Thank you so much Hanover, thank you so much Acapella Voche for having us here. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, hope to see you again. Danke, dass wir dabei sein durften. Falls ihr am Sonntag noch nichts vorhabt, im HCC Kuppelsaal ist das Abschlusskonzert mit vier ganz, ganz tollen Gruppen. Wir sind da, ich hoffe ihr auch. Bye bye! See you next time! <lacht> Ciao! If you want to check us out, we're on the various social medias and we go by the handle of at Sync Music, which is S-O-E-N-K-M-U-S-I-C. Yeah, bye! Can I take off my pants or is that weird? Okay. <laughs> okay.